Hello, so in this video what we're going to do is basically take all the variables that are relevant for our modeling and then put it in one Excel and then later divide the data into train, test and validation. So let me explain briefly what that is. So if I have 1,309 rows within our data set that we did cleaning on, and now we are not going to use all of them for the modeling, right? Especially Kaggle gave us the train data set to build the model on and the test data set uh, to make our predictions on, right? So first thing what you're going to do is you're going to split it into train and test that Kaggle has provided. So that 891 rows that we will have for training will be there. And then the rest 418 rows will be available for us to make the predictions on. But while we are training, we also need a test data set or a validation data set to basically test our model on and see how accurate our model is. So what we're going to further do to the trained data set is to split it into, let's say, 700 rows and 191 rows. So what this does is now we'll have 700 rows to build our model on and then 191 rows to basically train whatever model we have built it on. Ideally, this should be done uh, by the package train test split from the SQL library, but I'm going to do it on Excel and show you uh, how it's done on Excel in the background in SQL. So let's get into it. First things first, let's take all the variables that are green here. So I'm just going to take the ones that are required here. I'm going to create a new file and paste special values here, right? Then I'm just going to go forward, take these, Control shift down that was paste the values here so I have the next columns that I want and then take the entire series here that is from Mr. and Mrs. and so on right so I'll just take that copy it and paste it here right so now I have ultimately 46 variables that are going to go into the model Right, but now I'm just going to split it into train test split. Right, so first things, wherever there is uh, an A, right, so I'm going to create a new data set, new Excel. So uh, first I'm going to do, you know, train and test as per uh, X, the Kaggle competition. So I'm going to say, select all the NAs and put that on another table here. Right, so basically this is your test data set. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete the survived column here, right? And I'll say, save this as, and I'm going to call this as a CSV file, right? I'm going to call this as test, and I'm going to refer it as Excel test. So yes, so this is the test data set that is ready. Now, what I can do is I can delete the rows from here, right? The test data set, I will delete it. Okay, so now I have 891 rows, right? Uh, within the trained data set, this is what I have right now, the 891 and 418 rows, right? Now what we're gonna do is take the trained data set and then randomly split it between, um, you know, 700 and 191 rows. Now, it not it may not be exactly 700 and 191, but let's try to do it, right? So in the SQLearn test train split, what happens is you be, you know it assigns a random value to this particular um, all of the rows here, right? So let's say I'm just going to put a random value here. Let me just enlarge this. Right, so the random value is going to be from the function called rand, right? And I'm just going to run this uh, for all of the rows here, right? So basically, you have a random value. So after I've put the random function, what I can do is copy and make this as base 
special values so that the values are fixed and every time I filter the values don't change. So now what I'm going to do is split the data set into a 20-80 split so that I can get 80% of the rows for training, right? So to that, what I can do is I can select all the numbers that are greater than 0 0.2 to be included in my train data set, right? So that's around 713 rows. So what I'll do is I'll take the passenger from the passenger till the end of it and create a new data set. And I can paste it here, paste special values. I can then save this as Excel underscore train and it's going to be a CSV file. Save. I can close this. Now anything that is less than you know 0 0.2 is what I'm going to take as uh, the, uh, the validation set, right? So that's the validation set. So let me see how many rows are there. There are 178, right? So, which would mean that 178 plus the 713 will give me the 891 rows, right? So, what I can do is I can take this data set, get a new one, paste special values. Now, this is a validation set, right? So, I'm just going to save this as Excel validation. And save. So now these files are uh, basically created. So there are three different files now ultimately. So you have an Excel test which was originally given by Kaggle. Then you have a train set uh, which was given by Kaggle. We divided that into 713 rows in one and uh, roughly 178 rows in the other. So we're going to build our model on the train data set and then validate it on the validation data set, right? Just to close this. So we now have uh, 713 rows here and then we have 178 rows here for train and validation. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is import them into Python, build a basic model, and then upload the result to Kaggle and see where we rank. Thank you for watching, guys.